Electric fields. Your priming questions are, what charge should test charges be? How do you draw electric fields? And what creates electric fields? So the electric field. We can draw our electric fields around point charges or uh, between plates if we need to for capacitors. Uh, the lines of force, and these are force vectors, will always be away from the positive. And let me emphasize that, away from the positive and towards the negative. You want to make them equally spaced and they can never cross. You should never have these lines of force for the electric field lines ever crossing. Now the reason why we are always going away from the positive and towards the negative is because originally when the scientists were creating these electric field lines, this is to visualize something that you can't see, they would charge a small test charge, a small sphere, put it in an electric field and watch how it moved, or also able to see what force is being applied to that particular um, test charge and what the direction of that force was. And using that, they would be able to follow it and be able to draw the lines of force for the electric field. So in this case, if we had a negative charge over here, and this is our positive test charge, or just a positive charge, we would draw our electric field lines something like this. And you see how they curve out around over here. And if you don't know what's over here on the left side or on a different side, you can. but you know that we have a positive test charge here, we can draw our lines just going out like this. And you want to make sure that they are as evenly spaced as possible. Now, what's interesting is when you have two positives or two negatives, they'll look very similar. If you have two positives, you can still see that the lines of force are still going out, radiating from the test charge. But when they get close to the other part, you see what happens to these lines. So they are both going towards each other because we are test, uh, our lines need to go away from the positives. So we draw them away. But if you have two positives here, the lines will then go parallel right between the two. They will never cross. And the opposite is also true for negative charges. So if we were to draw the electric field around two negative charges, this is what they would look like. They would look very similar, but as to what we had with our positive, but the arrows are different. So this is where we need to be careful. So the arrows will always go towards the negative, away from the positive. All right. So there are a number of good demos for this, and I'm, I'm going to show you in class the Van der Graaff generator that we have at school. And what's cool about this is the Van der Graaff generator can produce a tremendous amount of voltage, which we'll talk about later, and it can create these huge electric fields around it that can actually transfer to you or to another object or to another metallic item. And so you can see here, this is one of my old students, and you can see she's touching a Van der Graaff generator and she is now becoming charged and you can see what happens to her hair. What you see here is the hair is all separating and moving out away from her because she is becoming charged and you can see that her hair is following the electric field lines that are being produced by the electric charge on her head. And so we can measure the actual strength of the electric field using this equation. E is equal to F over Q, where E is the electric field with the units of newtons per coulomb. F is the force in newtons. Q is the charge in coulombs. So E is equal to F over Q. And a quick practice problem, and I'm going to leave you off on this. A test charge of 4.0 times 10 to the negative fifth coulombs is placed in an electric field. The force on it is 0 0.60 newtons at 10.0 degrees. What is the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the location of the test charge? So uh, write this question down, attempt it, and we'll compare your answers in class to the people around you, along with the questions that were the priming questions at the beginning.